college you hello everybody it's your girl Jay and today I am here with my November wrap-up part three of three this is the final wrap-up that I'm going to be doing for November 2021 I'll leave the other two linked down below if you guys want to check those out but here are the final five books that I'm going to be talking about so without further ado let us get started the first book I have is a good girl's guide to murder by Holly Jackson everybody has been telling me to read this and saying that I would love it and you guys were not wrong I gave it a five out of five stars. In the small town that Pip grew up in, it is a well-known fact that five years ago, Andy Bell was murdered by her boyfriend, Sal Singh. Only Pip does not believe that this is the truth, and so she uses her senior capstone project to discover who the real killer is. With the help of Sal's brother, Pip uncovers many secrets that point to a different suspect that will do anything in order to keep their identity unknown to the public. I flew through this book. I was so invested in these characters and the story and mystery that they were trying to solve. I will say that you definitely need to suspend the believability because a lot of the things that Ravi and Ip got up to were very illegal and they definitely would have been arrested or something trying to solve this murder but it was so much fun that I'll let it slide. Mixed media is one of my favorite ways that stories are told, so I thoroughly enjoyed the journal entries, the police records, the maps, the diagrams that were included in this. It is just such a fun and unique way to tell a story. I also listened to this on audiobook, and it was a full cast audiobook, which I am always a huge fan of. The cast of characters were a lot of fun. I loved getting to know them more as the story progressed. Pip is a very strong-willed character. She never gave up in the investigation no matter what was thrown her way. I really liked Ravi. I think he was a sweetheart and I really liked how supportive he was of Pip, which like understandable because she was trying to clear his brother's name, but I just think the way that he helped her do that was really great. I thought I had this whole thing figured out. I only ended up being partially correct, which I really enjoyed not being fully correct because I hate when that happens, but I'm definitely intrigued to see where books two and three go. I definitely need to find copies of both of them so that I can finish the series because I'm obsessed. Five out of five stars. The next book I read is The Girls Are All So Nice Here. This is by Lori Elizabeth Flynn and I gave this a four four out of five stars. This follows Ambrosia Wellington, who just received an invitation to her 10-year college reunion. She has spent the last 10 years trying to separate herself from her identity in college and what happened there. But when she receives an anonymous note that states, we need to talk about what happened that night, Amb decides that she must attend in order to keep Elle her secrets hidden and keep her ex-best friend Sully quiet. So this book is very, very fast-paced. I read it in one sitting. I flew through it. This book is so fast-paced and filled with drama. I flew through it. I could not stop turning the pages. The friendship was so dang toxic, but so addictive to read about. I really like the alternating timelines. We got both the present at the reunion and the past while Anne was in college. I think that was a great way to understand the backstory and why Am was feeling the anxiety and tension of attending this reunion. I really liked these characters, which sounds really weird because they were all so terrible and unlikable. It was so interesting to have the timeline in the past while Am was in college because she truly believed that what she was doing was justifiable and okay while it was happening. And it was just such a whirlwind to read because like as a reader, you're like, what the fuck are you doing? Like this is not not okay, but she was convinced she was in the right. The ending was really interesting and I almost wish that there was a sequel so that we can see where the story goes with the two unexpected characters coming together. I am so intrigued, like Lori, please. I need the sequel. I need to know what's gonna happen with those two, so please write it. I will love you forever. Yeah, I give this book a four out of five stars. I definitely recommend it. It's really fun. The next two books I'm actually going to talk about together because they are part of the same series. It is Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief and Percy Jackson, The Sea of Monsters. This is book one and two of the Percy Jackson series. I gave them both four out of five stars. 
If you live under a rock and do not know what this series is about, it basically follows 12-year-old Percy Jackson. He discovers that he is a demigod after being attacked by a monster on a school trip. He is sent to Camp Half-Blood where he learns about his new powers and basically every book is in a different adventure that he goes forth and tries to you know, solve whatever the problem is. I feel like I am like the last person on booktube to pick up this series and I am kind of sad I didn't do it when I was younger because I think I would have adored this series. The books are very easy to read, the writing style flows really nicely. I am personally a huge Greek mythology fan. I took courses in university based off of it and I just thought it was really interesting to see the things that I learned in that course. The tales were interwoven so seamlessly in a modern world. It was so fun to read. I just found these characters to be very relatable and just so pure, honestly. I really loved Percy's voice. I loved the humor and sarcasm that he used to get through day-to-day -day life because what he is going through is a lot and he handles it pretty well if I do say so myself. I also really liked how his ADHD and dyslexia were such a huge part of the story and not in a negative way either. Rover was definitely my favorite character in the first book. I just think he is so lovable and cute and I think he was a great friend to Percy. I definitely want to see more of him as the series progresses, which we did get in the second book, which I was very happy about. In this book, we get more of a look at Percy and Annabeth's relationship and friendship and how that's growing, which I really liked. I also loved the addition of Tyson. He is just such a fun, loving character. I just wanted more of him and I really hope that that we get more of him in the next books. I'm not 100% sure if that's going to happen, but like fingers crossed we do. I'm definitely going to be picking up book three shortly. I'm very excited to see where the story goes, especially because the cliffhanger at the end left me reeling and I need to know what happens next. So the I final book that I'm going to be talking about that I read in November 2021 is The Fallen Girls. This is by Haley Krischer. I ended up giving this a four out of five stars. So this follows Shade and Jadis who have been inseparable best friends for as long as they can remember. When Shade joins the cheerleading team, Jadis is feeling very left behind and then one of the cheerleaders ends up dying under mysterious circumstances and Shade is not convinced that Jadis was not behind it in some way. This story is about a complicated, toxic friendship that is definitely a situation of codependency and it was so addictive to read about. The story was definitely fast-paced, definitely had me turning the pages not wanting to put the book down to see what happened next. I think that it was a really interesting exploration of obsessive female friendships and I loved learning more about Shade and Jadis as the story progressed. I think that the plot was very entertaining. I was definitely hooked from the very beginning. I also really liked the description of the cheerleading stunts and how athletic these girls needed to be in order to pull these moves off. I actually listened to this on audiobook and the narrator did a really great job with these characters and their voices. I was so drawn into this story and I definitely felt the tension and suspense while reading so I gave it a four out of five stars. All right everybody so those were the last five books that I read for the month of November 2021. If you're interested in the other ten books that I read I will leave Leave the links down below for you to check out the other two wrap-ups. Let me know down below if you read any of these books and what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!